This is a demonstration of how I made a Ukrainian Easter egg that I call an embroidered egg. This is an image of the final egg. So the first part is to divide the egg. I divide the egg starting at the bottom and I divide it in half with one vertical line going all the way around the egg. I then divide each half in half with another vertical line. Once I've done that, I divide each quarter section in half with a line going horizontally through the fat part of the egg. And now I have an egg with eight parts. I divide each eighth in half with a line starting from the center, and I have an egg now with 16. I turn it one quarter of the way, and I do the exact same thing that I just did. So starting from the center, I draw a line out to the side, to one of the original vertical lines and I do that all the way around the egg on both sides. The next step is to divide from the bottom, There's a, there are four diamonds, I divide one of the diamonds in half and I look for the center where the, where the triangles intersect as my guide. And I do that all the way from the bottom up to the top. So once you've gone from the bottom all the way to the top in each section, you'll have an egg with 48 equally sized triangles. So the second part is to add little eyes and what I did was I found the diamond in the center of the egg where there's four sections and in each of the four sections I did what looked to be like an eye shape or teardrop shape and I did that for each of the diamond sections in the on the egg. Once I did that all the way around the egg, I added two little lines on the inside of each of the petals, just like this. So the third part is to do the inner diamond and the stitching. This is what it's going to look like in the end, and I'm going to do that all the way around the egg. So I start by drawing a line that's parallel to the line just to the right. I use that as my guide, and that helps keep everything look uh, symmetrical and I do that on the inside line as well, and then I curve that inner triangle line around the petal, and I fill it in. Now I do that around all of the petals around the whole egg, and once it's done it looks like this, just fill in those last bits, and this is how it's going to look, and it's ready now for some stitching. I thought this reminded me of my grandmother's embroidery, so some stitching uh, would add a bit of visual interest, and I did that around each of the, the diamonds. I didn't do it through the center. In part four we're going to dye the egg and remove the wax. So first I tried it in royal blue. I lowered the egg into the royal blue dye but I thought that it looked a little bit too light so I tried it for a minute in the purple and that gave it a deeper blue color and I lifted the egg off the spoon with a piece of paper towel and I dabbed it dry rather than rubbing. Rubbing will cause the dye to come off so the next section is to uh, remove the wax and you do that by holding the egg close to the flame, not in it. And you can see where, the, where it's white, that, that's where I've removed the wax already. And this is how it looks when it's done.